Hello, ladies. Hello. Thanks for being here today. If you're new, welcome. Uh, if you've been here, thank you for coming back. Today, we are going to talk about cardio. And if you are in perimenopause or postmenopause, the kind of cardio that you need to do. So I'm going to tell you the right kind today, but not only tell you the right kind, the why behind this is the right kind of cardio to do in order to reap the composition and health benefits that come from doing it. So let's get into it. Okay, ladies, you're not going to like this, but if you are a avid group fitness boot camper, F45, Orange Theory, Berry Boot Camper type of woman, it's not doing it for you. It's not going to give you the changes that you want. The most beneficial type of cardiovascular exercise for perimenopause and postmenopause women is sprint training. It is true H-I-I-T, HIT interval training. The type of workouts you're doing in these boot camp classes, I know they call them HIT training. It is not HIT training. It's what we actually call MIT, medium intensity training. Because you're going so long and you're doing so many repetitions or whatever it may be in that workout, you cannot truly maximize your effort in an interval to reach that high intensity interval training. So. What we want to do as women is we want to sprint and you can do this on a bike. You can do this on a treadmill. You can do it on a rower, swimming, whatever works for you. It's just how you're working it. And I will put an example of a sprint training interval in the description below. So you can use that as an example of how to go about training. I do mine on a stationary bike. It's easiest for me to push my heart rate into that uncomfortable zone on the bike. Can't run, don't want to run hate a rower <laughs> so the bike works for me but we want to do um, short and sharp intervals okay and it's typically run on like a one to three one to four ratio meaning if I did a 20 second sprint I would have a 60 to 80 second rest interval after that 20 second sprint um, not like what you see in these classes of working 45 seconds, 15 second rest break, and you do that for 30 to 40 minutes straight. There's, you just can't, you can't, it is physically impossible to work at the level needed for this interval training. And the reason we want these high, high spikes, right, is because we're no longer getting the stimulus of estrogen like we did pre-menopause or pre-perimenopause. And estrogen is our anabolic hormone. It is what helps us to build lean tissue, hold on to lean tissue, and do all of those kind of things. Now that we have this decline in that stimulus because we have the lack of estrogen, we have to use other environmental stimuli to trigger those responses in our body. And inter true interval training is the best way to do that. It will stimulate, it will stimulate those metabolic changes to um, reduce fat mass and increase lean muscle mass and improve metabolic and cardiovascular health. Because we have to do our cardio. We have to strength train, but we also have to fit some cardio in because cardiovascular disease is the number one killer for women across the board. It's more than breast cancer. It's more than any other disease out there. It's cardiovascular disease. And a big part of that is in postmenopause women, because of these declining hormone changes and that increase in abdominal fat that you can refer to my other videos about um, with the insulin, the cortisol levels, etc. So doing the sprint training is a great way to combat that, our increased chance of disease, but also provide that stimulus for those metabolic changes to lean out your composition, reduce your fat mass, increase your endurance. It will increase your insulin sensitivity. Um, it will in increase endurance. It will reduce fatigue. I've got some notes here. You have a better use of oxygen when you do sprint interval training, which means that you can burn more fat because we actually breathe out fat. That's how you lose fat mass. You pee it out and you breathe it out. So if you have better um, use of oxygen, you are in a bet better fat burning state. You, I would um, recommend getting a heart rate monitor. I will link my favorite one below as well. You want to be pushing yourself in these sprint intervals to 85% or higher of your max heart rate. 
you basically want to feel like you're going to die, but then you take a very long rest break. Like I said, a three to four ratio. So uh, a, a three to one ratio would be 20 seconds on, 60 seconds off. A four to one ratio would be 20 seconds off, 80 seconds off. So if Take you're new to working out, if you're new to doing cardio, they're, they're gonna suck. If you're an avid exerciser, you um, have been doing it for a very long time, they're gonna suck. Sprints are gonna suck no matter what. That's what I tell all of my clients. And if they suck, then you're doing them right and you will reap the benefits. Workouts, you need but to strength train three days a week, then you need to get this cardio session in and working really, really hard. Work short, but work sharp. Be really, really strong in those sprints, as strong as you can go. Um, and again, over time, it will get better and you will get stronger just like anything else. Um, they're not gonna suck any less though. <laughs> um, and do these sprint intervals because this will make the biggest impact on your metabolic and cardiovascular and composition health as a peri and post menopause woman. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe below. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you're watching this video, I'm almost to a thousand subscribers so share this with your friends share it with anybody that you think could benefit from this kind of information because there are so many of us 40 plus years old that are going through this and having this information can be very very helpful so I will see you guys in the next video thanks for being here bye